Hello and welcome to a new episode of Solo Choco King and Zed! We have reached the peak of this evolution of this getter ray. Here is our Bazinga Z getter ball! <laughs> this is the top! <laughs> Come on! This is a pinnacle of the evolution of these Get Array, who are like a god who gives the life, but also can take away. These are the Emperor Wards, pull off from the manga Getter Devolution, where precisely we see this enemy very well. We had already seen the Emperor in the Shin Getter Robo series, but in this manga Devolution, you will see the enemy of humanity very well, because this GX87 Getter Emperor is not a good one. As well, the model is not a good one. <laughs> also not beautiful. <laughs> anyway, but let's start with the Imperial March. Roll the video. Let's start from the box GX87 Getter Emperor of 2019. Beautiful box and super powerful, with this image of the Getter Emperor ready to dominate the world or destroy it. In the background we have the three Getter machine. I'm very excited. Getter B! Beautiful. At the top left we have the Solo Choco King logo. And the bottom, the Getter Robo written, but not the logo of any specific series. On the side, we have the various logos and the full figure of Emperor. Here, beautiful illumination of the image, soft light, beautiful. On the other side, we have the three Getter machine. Mm, okay. Below, we have a half lens portrait of the Emperor in Divine Pose. I have to say, also this image is very powerful and beautiful. Above, we also have the virus written and half lens Emperor with a tomahawk. This image gives us a sense of the powerful dimension of this Getter Emperor. Let's turn the box and we find on the left the image that we already see of the three Getter machines that connect to the three Getter machine models. And that, with an arrow, makes us understand that by joining them we can form the Getter Emperor. On the right, we have the same pose of the Emperor we had seen before, but without the beautiful soft light that gives the model this powerful illumination. In the lower right, we have two images of how can you put model in the display. Three Getter machine or unite in the Emperor. Let's open the box, beautiful layout with the virus written. We can find the Emperor Bear, the Emperor Eagle, the Emperor Jaguar, the three Getter machine. Emperor Tomahawk, a set of open hand, a set of close hand, the blade of the Tomahawk, and a big display. Let's move to the instruction, I should say a book, <laughs> since it is a big, all in color anyway. Obviously the image of the Emperor on the cover. We turn the page and find some history of the virus getters and the Emperor. Obviously in Japanese. <laughs> Some preparatory study of the mod. The contents and let's start with the long tracking shots to transform the virus getter machine in the getter machine. Because when you open the box, the getter machine are not ready to be displayed. You need a more or less 30 minutes to prepare them. Good luck! <laughs> Once the three getter are placed on the display, the desire to see the Emperor united is a lot as much on the instruction page that separate you from the final stage of the robot. <laughs> Do you have another free hour? Okay, let's start assembling. Chain Getter Emperor! Here we see the model mounted on the display and the extra part storage. On the back of the cover we have a beautiful image of the three Getter machine. Here we are to the display of the Getter Emperor GX87 and we see how big it is. We have the name already applied. It looks like a mega dynamic classic display. 
but it's not. But the various parts of the display are hidden under and not inside. A rough, dynamic, classic display, but it works. Behind, we can attach ends and the mini end display can be detached. Let's quick compare with the GX51 Getter Dragon display, which has the largest of the Getter Dragon display. And we see the Getter Emperor display is twice the size of the GX51. A display evolution with this Getter Race. Let's assemble various parts to support the Getter machine in the display. There it is. Let's move on to the three getter machine. Let's start with the Emperor Eagle. Let's see closely and remember, you have to add some part from the Tomo to complete. The vehicle is quite heavy. It has metal arm like an internal skeleton and the rest of it is a plastic. Many details, even if I don't like the shape, but it is uh, defined very well. Visually, there have been the evolution of the Getter machine, starting from the very soft shape of the first one. We have evolved to this less soft Getter Dragon G to become a rigid organic block like that. Bah. Let's see the second getter machine, the getter Jaguar, which all plastic with this dragonfly shape. We must add some part of the tomahawk also here. Let's say this getter machine have become organic, living beings are not longer just a machine. We see the evolution of the getter machine, very simple, classic. We have to more complex getter G to an organic evolution for this Emperor Jaguar, that I will have to call it the Emperor Moth. <laughs> Let's move on to the Getter Emperor Bear, that is the third Getter machine, which has always been the ugliest one. Perhaps this one is the most beautiful, in my opinion. Very heavy indeed, it has more metal than whole. We have the legs of the Emperor that are all metal. Here too, we have part of the Tomahawk to add. In the display, the three Getter machines are to be put in order of the heaviness. In fact, the bear is placed at the bottom. Many details here too. We see evolution of the Getter machine starting from the bear evolve into Getter Poseidon of the Getter G with a very present face to this organic Emperor bear also here we have clear face. Let's move on to the Getter Emperor GX87 Robo. See how tall it is. Let's compare it to the other Getter Robo GX06, GX74, GX18 and GX51, the Getter family. <laughs> you see how big it is? Let's look closely. The sadness things about this robot is that you always have to lift it by the legs, otherwise the parts come off. We see the feet has should remain open, but they can't lock. A very unpleasant detail. Bandai, Bandai. Lot of metal, legs, arms, internal skeleton, all in metal and full of detail this model. Let's see the legs joint which are the most articulated. We see the rotation. The arm rotates since it has a metal skeleton, it is hard to move and it's easy to detach the upper parts. Let's see the additional hands. They are larger than the basic ones of the robot. I don't understand why this difference. Let's put the big hands, in my opinion, are not very well. The proportion are wrong. I repeat, very unstable robot. That can't be enjoyable for the simple fact that it is attached to everything but does not lock the parts. It is not a playable model, only to expose the Tomahawk with a many detail with a face model it beautiful if you look only from the front side.
it is a theatrical tomoke, detailed just in one side. To insert the tomoke, we insert the fist like this, or with a small fist, it should only be stuck. Many beautiful ideas for this model, such as opening of the arm and exit of the feet. All truths very complex the transformation, unfortunately. Here we are at the final comment and the price for this Get Emperor GX87 episode longer than usual but this robot is very big there is a many things to say the price is around 27,000 yen about 370 New Zealand dollars 220 euros very large and therefore very expensive model that's my opinion does not meet expectation very complicated in the transformation of both the getter machine and the robot which i looked at reflect the model in the manga but which in my opinion is not beautiful if you have a lot empty space at home this model will take up a lot of space if you like me you don't have a space in the house this model will remain in the package which is by the way is the most beautiful things about this robot last episode of the evolution series and we are the christmas time so merry christmas i will come back in the new year with a new series i will say a great series see you always here at solo choco kid and there